thanks everybody. Uh, my name is Travis Melkier. I'm one of the success coaches from FieldLens. Um, FieldLens is a mobile and web-based platform uh, that kind of came from the, the challenges that you are all faced with today, poor communication in the field. Um, we're all ex-construction guys from the CEO down and um, that was the thing that plagued every job, whether if I was working on a small residential build or if the CEO of uh, the company, Doug Chambers, was uh, building the New York Times uh, building or even the World Trade Center when he was on that. So out of those challenges and those struggles, FieldLens was kind of born. Um, we, we are very much focused on data collected in the field, which is why you'll notice that I'll be going back and forth to my phone and on the web. Um, no matter what, though, uh, FieldLens organizes all the data that's collected on those projects on a project level basis. And those projects can be set up with different project teams. So I'm going to sign into two test projects here. All right, I can always talk louder. Um, I'm going to sign into, uh, again, this WFL dealership, which was a, uh, a project that a couple of my colleagues worked on uh, in Utah, which is one of our demo projects, both on my phone and on the web here. And again, since I have limited time, I'm going to skip over some stuff, but we'll always go back to that. Uh, if in case you guys ever want to talk after. So the first thing you're presented with here, again, I'll just show the web first. Uh, we refer to this as the items feed, or, or this is, again, all that data, which you're going to see momentarily where it's collected. But this is where it's, it's in essence, stored. Um, you can track anything in field lens from general you know, field notes. We refer to them as observations. That's that blue icon down there, or a task that's indicated by the color yellow and that check mark. You can also use field, use field lens to document both safety and deficiency items. So uh, pretty general use case. It's the same process no matter what. And that's one thing that you're going to hear me stress is the simplicity of how you're going to have your superintendent or your foreman document the things that they see in the field. Uh, before I go into that, I'm actually going to show you how these documentations are actually going to layer over uh, your, your drawing sets. And I'm happy to also say that field lens has partnered with Bluebeam so that all those sets that you guys have hyperlinked and are now storing in Bluebeam and have all the power in the world to do on the desktop, you're now going to be able to upload those in the field lens and now give a certain percentage of that functionality to your foreman and your superintendent in the field. Why Bluebeam partnered with us is, again, that fact, like I told you, we're here to solve communication. We're now adding that layer of communication over your drawing sets that previously were impossible. So the drawing uploader right now would be just your typical drag and drop methodology. Uh, Q4, we're going to have a direct connection into Bluebeam. So as those sets are updated in Bluebeam, uh, they're going to update in FieldLens as well. Uh, I just uploaded a, a bunch of drawing sets here. They're, they weren't Bluebeam specific. But um, what's great on the web app, or again, I can do the same thing for my phone. I'm just going to pull up a specific drawing, and I can do the same thing, like I said, on my phone is we're pulling the disciplines from that bottom right corner of your Bluebeam set. So I can go ahead and I can start typing in, again, architectural. And I can go to my architectural set of drawings. I'll apply the filter. And now I'm going to show my five architectural drawing sets, which I'm just going to pull up one drawing for right now. And you're going to see some, some items on here. And let's actually now create those. Those are those documentations I was telling you about. So I'm going to pull up my phone now. Again, virtually the same exact process here. Uh, that we do on the web as well. But I want to focus on the phone because I feel like that's more impactful. It's going to be more impactful on all your businesses for sure. So how things start, how you create is that blue button at the bottom. I can either create an item by itself without the drawing, or I can create an item on top of a drawing. So here's like I just showed you on the web. Here's that same exact screen of all those blue beam link sets. As you can see, I uploaded a bunch of them that didn't have discipline specified on them. Uh, but I'm going to go down to that same architectural drawing here on my phone, which I'll be presented with all three of these all, all five, excuse me, of the architectural drawings. Uh, now, again, I'll, you'll see A1 on the left. I'll go into A1.1 on the right here. This is, again, on my, on my iPhone, which I probably should also mention that Field Lens does perform just as well, just harder to showcase on a computer Android devices. And that's both on your Android tablet or your um, uh, iPad as well. On my phone, though, my 5-inch iPhone or for whatever the exact measurement is, I can zoom in on this, again, PDF or blue beam drawing here, and I can go to a specific area. I can zoom out. For argument's sake, right now, I'm going to go into this area uh, in the upper right, which is going to be here on that drawing. I'm going to just hold my finger down on my phone. And you'll notice that this is kind of similar to what Andrew was showing on, uh, um, during his presentation. But we, we refer to this as dropping a pin. So here now, this is how I'm going to start the documentation. And like I said, 
field lens, whether if it's a general observation uh, or a task, uh, a safety item or a deficiency, it's all the same exact process. So you're not you know, worrying about telling your, your, again, your guys in the field that are in the business to build, not in the business to fill out forms, which is where the, unfortunately, the industry has gone. They're following the same step no matter what, and they can document the things that they need. So let me actually show you how that works now. Um, so for the one example I'll use, I'll just use like, for example, um, we need to move these lights. So I don't know if I did that kind of quick there. First thing I do when I see people use the app or start to even think they want a picture. So right here, I can go ahead on that bottom bar there. I can go ahead and I can snap off a couple pictures. Take a couple pictures of the audience. I can go ahead and I can, sorry guys, take a video of all you guys laughing, give me the finger. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, great, great use case for, again, a concrete pour. Great use case for just documenting general work. Um, I'll also say this at this point. So like Andrew was pointing out with those uh, drone, uh, drone um, pictures, when Feelings were releasing our public API in Q4, those pictures that his company or any company for that matter could be taking, taken, those could be uploaded in the Feelings as well. And as I start to show you how to create the communication, you can add, you know, again, all those great pictures and all everything that, that his company's doing, you can add further documentation on top of those and obviously do that also on top of your Bluebeam link set, set of drawings as well. Um, so I'll go ahead, took those pictures. This is not crazy. Rob, I'm sorry, I'm gonna use it as, as my example. I'll open up this picture, safety item, whatever it may be. I can zoom in on Rob, because there's a lot of people here, and again, just because we're both from New Jersey, I'll call you out. I can now, I can now circle his head, and he's, Rob's not wearing a safety hat. You know, he's not wearing his helmet. So, um, any, you know, if this is of those lights, whatever it could be, which I didn't actually take pictures of, so let me take a picture of that, just so we have that. Take a picture of my light. I'll come up here to the assignee field, which, um, A, you're most likely to move that light, I'm gonna have to call upon my electrician, and probably, let's just say there was drywall there, my, uh, um, my drywall subcontractor. So, I'm gonna have to, I, I can assign that task to somebody in field ends as well. So, these are emails from my phone. I should also say this. You can assign and share information uh, with people that are not FieldLens users. They only need to have, you only need to have their email address. So they do not have to know anything about FieldLens. All this information is gonna be emailed to them as most likely you typically communicate with them today, but they're gonna be able to get, as I show you the reporting and all the details here, all the CYA, all the additional documentation that you can do inside of FieldLens that most likely, you can't attach six pictures and a video to an email. It just won't go through, especially in the field. In FieldLens, it actually will go through. So. Um, if I had people on my project, this is where they'd be listed. Let's just assume I don't know who's actually gonna be the guy to go ahead and assign this task, so I'm gonna come down here um, to both my electrical subcontractor and my drywall subcontractor. I'll save them. I can set due dates. The electrician obviously needs to go first. I could say he needs, well, that's probably not realistic. Let's say the 16th he needs to be done by, and the drywall subcontractor needs to be done by the 18th. Go ahead and I can click done. Um, Actually, uh, Greg and I are having an interesting conversation also about like the pre-punch process, which I don't know if any of you guys are really getting involved with, but it's, it's in my opinion, a tremendous time saver. Also, it's a tremendous, tremendous saver in terms of what the cost is to obviously finish that punch list item you know, 12 months down the road. So uh, these categories, these categories, again, this is a task, an observation, whatever it is, these categories are gonna tell me uh, what that information is. So for example, um, this could be a daily report item. I know I'm kind of bouncing around my examples. It could be a daily report item or it could be like a pre-punch item, like I said, or a punch list item, whatever it would be. These are custom created by you guys. This is not me telling you what to do, so you can create your processes around it. So I'll go ahead and I'll just click off pre-punch there as well. Actually, I think I'm using that one. You'll also notice I can apply multiple categories. For, for, so for the safety issue, you can have, again, a safety category, and then it could be full or whatever it may be, not wearing your hard hat. So you can get additional data out of field lens. So I'll go ahead and I'll save that. Um, Quite frankly, there's a lot of other things that I can do here, but what I really want to do now is post this. So I'm going to post this. What I didn't talk to you about is the CC field that was there. And also, actually, before that even happens, let this refresh here for a moment. You're going to see that thing I just posted populate right there where it says new. Now on my web, if I'm a PM or I'm an executive back in the office, I can actually see what's happening on my project in real time, again, on top of those Bluebeam link sets. So just to show you what it looks like on the web here, go ahead and I can click into that. Again, my report is, sorry, Rob, again. Um, so I didn't create a title, but my, my, my category is populated as a title. So what I care about really are these pictures because that's what tells me the story. Uh, I could have wrote a description in there, but because I'm short on time, I didn't want to obviously get into that. We just met. 
Yeah, well, I feel like I know you so well. We, we grew up across the street almost. Um, all right, well, anyway. Um, so uh, this, this use case can go on and on and on about daily report items, things like that. Um, kind of the, uh, um, the real, uh, what, what, the, what a foreman or a superintendent really loves about feelings is that, you know, again, that item I just created, you're creating them multiple times throughout the day for daily report items or whatever it may be. Um, what you're going to get, though, is I'll go back to my, either on my phone, again, as I just created that, which I can also filter further. So I'll, I'll show that here. But um, on the web or from the phone, I could create, just because you can see this better, I can create an automated daily report or any type of report for that matter. And I can come in here and I can say that this report, based on the information I've collected that day and, a ca and a, with that category, so it could be a pre-punch list, it could be a daily report item, whatever it is, uh, you can have this report run automatically Monday through Friday, choose the days if it's before like a, a subcontractor meeting or a toolbox talk. Um, you can have this report run so you can walk into the report and you can have your kind of agenda of open tasks that were uh, still open from that from last week. Um, and obviously have the conversation there. And the setup is so simple. Uh, literally all I have to do is come down here and type in daily report. And I know I'm running really, really short here. So I can just go ahead and I can submit this. Okay, oh, that's because I don't have a title, which is obviously important. Don't mind the spelling. And that's going to be emailed to me. It's also going to be saved to field lens. Uh, I kind of gained this a little bit, and I just pre-populated a daily report. But this is what would be automated at the end of every day automatically. Top is obviously customized. I didn't show you manpower, for example, what you can track. Manpower either on, on a, again, a, a company level or an employee level. Um, observations and general notes, these are from the descriptions. And this is really the details that's collected. Like, for example, we're going to automatically collect weather for you. Again, whenever your, your superintendent or your former want to document it, obviously before a concrete <coughs> pour. Um, here's, for example, you know, deliveries. You can attach information from a cloud storage solution in the field. And so your, so your tickets, a bit, a back to that concrete pour. Uh, I can actually have a video here of the slump test, which I can watch. And I can have that now documented. Uh, and as you'll notice, this is, a, this is a, a report that's sent to me in a URL address. That's how we're getting away with sending all these pictures and videos to folks. All right. So that's kind of the reporting um, output. Um, this is obviously very powerful. I lean more in the area of I'd rather digest my information inside a field lens and why that is. I just want to close with this. And I'll go back to that same drawing that we were just on there. And on this drawing, which again is comprised of daily report items, punch list items, safety items, whatever it may be, I can further filter as we were, I mean, the tool is called Live Layer. We can now look at the layers of data in here. So now I can come down here to my categories and I can filter by daily report items, for example. And you'll notice there were 22 items there. And I can look at daily report items. Those items are going to disappear. Now I'm only going to see the items that are a part of my daily report. Same thing will go for obviously punch list items. And for me, punch list items are more powerful here because now I can start to see the trends of where, the, where there are clusters or hot spots of issues that are actually happening. So let me go down here to uh, punch list. And now we don't have, again, you know, this is an example project I just created earlier, but now we're only looking at the two punch list items. Obviously, if there's a cluster of them, I can now start to, if I'm a project manager or project executive, I can kind of talk to my superintendent, my foreman, and either I can look into these details and see, okay, what's the issue? Okay, there's bad base here. Okay, no big deal. Dustin's on top of that. That's my project manager. Um, or I could look at those other items there, and I can then either follow up with, um, uh, with my foreman or whoever else and find out what the details are. So I think that's probably my time. I didn't cut you off because you were on a roll. With these and countless more tech advancements shaping the way we work and play, we want to hear what you have to say. Leave us a comment in the section below. Check out all of our other videos, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.